Isn't this one of the most annoying things? You're on Instagram and you're trying to open a link from the description. Well, it won't work. You can tap on it, but it doesn't work. It's not actually clickable. Well, I will show you guys how to fix that with a simple hack and nine other hacks which you should know in 2023. But before we get started, another thing you should know is that most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. So if you want to see more videos and you enjoy watching them, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really will help the channel a lot. So what to do in order to be able to open this link? Well, it's very simple. All I got to do here is take a screenshot, tap on it, and make sure you don't have the tools enabled there. So click there to disable them. So you remove the tools here and then this button will be displayed here. All we gotta do is tap on it. And now we can actually tap on that link and you can see it will take you straight to the website. Next up, we're talking about passwords. Now passwords are of course really, really important. You wanna have a strong password so no one or no agency or anyone can get their hands on your data. Well, how important is this? You will see that if you just go ahead and read an article that I will leave linked right down below in the description of the video, and you will learn more in details how easy it is to actually crack down a passcode on an iPhone when you're using a numbers password with like four numbers or six numbers. It doesn't matter. It's actually very, very easy. And maybe like someone or an agency can really unlock your iPhone very, very fast. But that will be way, way harder if you actually use a password with letters and you can do that from here. So you go under face ID and password and all you have to do is go to change password enter your old password here. And then once it shows the screen where you can enter a new passcode, tap on passcode options. And right here we'll have the option to actually enter like a custom password with words or anything you want. So you can actually use any of the letters, you can use numbers and symbols as well. And you can tap here and use even more symbols. So basically, besides from emojis, anything else that you have on your keyboard, you can use to create a password, which will make it then very, very hard for anyone to be able to crack down your password. Now here's something really cool. Basically a better way to use a feature that has been on the iPhones forever. So all I have to do right there on Safari, if I want to open in this case, apple.com, I don't need to actually type the website. I will just type there MMM and then tap on go and it will open the Apple website. How cool is that? Well, this is a way to actually use the word replacement feature of the iPhone. So you go to settings, go to general here, go under keyboard, and then you will have text replacement here. So basically what you can do is add a shortcut and then a phrase. You can just add that phrase any way you want using that shortcut, but you can use links, maybe emails, maybe phone numbers, whatever you want. So right there on the phrase, you can just type basically anything you want to type. And then here, just create the shortcut, which you can use to enter that in this case for apple.com. Ha I had that shortcut MMM. So whenever I just type that hit go, it will open the Apple website. Now here's a very useful iPhone feature when you're on Safari and you're trying to look for a word, maybe on a long article or a big text or something like that. Of course, you don't want to scroll down and try to find the word that you need. All you have to do is go, go ahead and of course tap here and then go to find on page and type whatever you're looking for. But you can also just select the word which is when you see it there, just tap on the word to select it and then tap on find selection. It will basically do the same. It will actually find anything that you have selected without you having to go to find on page and type it manually. So just select one word and then it will find all the other ones. Now this right here is actually really interesting. So you know, Apple has added the data to the photos, like the location and all that stuff. So if we swipe up here, we can see basically everything regarding this photo. But what's really interesting is that you can actually add a location to a photo manually. So we can search for a location here and add the location. So you can actually manually do anything you want with that. So if I have the location on this photo and maybe I want to share it with someone, I don't want to share the location. What I can do here is actually go ahead and just tap on the three dots and then tap on adjust location. What I can do here is just tap on no location and it will completely remove the location from that photo. And you can even change the location. If your photo has a location on it, you can go ahead and again tap here, tap on adjust location and just search for any other location you want. 
I don't know how many times I said location there, but just again, search for any location you want and you can add it to the info of that photo. Here's a really cool trick for your widgets. When you drag a widget and add it to the home screen, you can see what the home screen will do. It will basically just put it there. Even though I had this line of apps there, I wanted to put it here, it won't work. It will actually automatically go there. But here's the trick. What I can do here is go ahead and add just a few more apps to this page just like this and now it will allow me to actually add it back here so what i can do here even if i just want to leave it like this or now i can move back the apps that i just had there so i'll go again to the edit mode tap to remove here the apps just move them back to their page you can see now it will actually stay there which is really really cool so you can see i can move around and it will still be there even though there is a lot of space here now this right here is really cool. You can have nameless widgets on the home screen of your iOS 16 device and it actually looks really nice and very very clean. And you can have any of your pictures on those widgets and you can see how good that looks. But for this to work you will have to work a bit, you will need to follow a few steps and install two different apps. First of all what you will need is this app right here called MD Blank. So I will show you guys the step by step process on how to create this. So first of all go ahead and go to the edit mode here and add the widget from this app. So whichever widget you want to add the smaller medium or the bigger one. Once you have added the widget all you have to do is just take a screenshot here and then open this second app that I will leave linked right down below in the description of the video. It is called PS Express so you tap on it and then once it opens here tap on mix and all you have to do is just load that screenshot you just took. Once you have done that then what you need to do is pick the photo that you want to add to your home screen. Now to do that you tap this plus button right here and go ahead and choose the photo from your photos library. So once you choose the photo you want to add all you have to do is just slide here to actually make the photo a bit transparent so you can see where you place it there. So again what we need to do here is just select this and make sure we zoom in or out however we need it and just place it right there on the place we want it to be. So right now all I have to do is go ahead and just pick like how I want it to look on the home screen so you can see that part of the widget there and then it's the photo here. So let's just select this part of the photo that's what we want to see on the home screen. Now again go ahead and then turn on here the opacity all the way to the maximum and you're basically good to go. What we need to do here is just go ahead and tap that to save it to the photos app. And now go back and go to the MD blank app and go ahead and tap here to select that photo we just saved. But actually the photo won't work because this only recognizes screenshots. This app will only take screenshots not photos. So what we need to do is take a screenshot of that photo. I know it's of course a bit of work and you need to follow a few steps but but this is the only way you can do that. So go ahead open the photo and take a screenshot of that photo. So this is the photo we just basically created there. Just open it like this on the photos app and take a screenshot of it and now we can go here tap to select and of course select the screenshot we just took and tap here select it again and now we're good to go. When we go back to the home screen and you can see right there the widget that we have added. Now it has actually that picture and it has no name under it. It makes it look really really nice. For the next one we're going to the iMessage app. So there is a hidden trick on the iMessage app which will actually allow you to track flights. All you have to do is just text the flight number. You can even text it to yourself and then you can tap on it and you can see right here. You can preview the flight simply by tapping on it. You will see everything that you need to know very very easily without having to use any website or any third party apps. This is a really cool Siri hack which will allow you to actually make Siri type emojis instead of words. All you have to do is just say a word and at the end of it say emoji and it will type the emoji instead of words. Send a text to test M. Heart emoji. And just like that you can see whenever I say emoji at the end of a word it will actually replace the word with an emoji. And there's also a really cool hack for dictation. Now dictation with iOS 16 is way way better and you can actually even type emojis and it actually recognizes you speaking 
and asking for an emoji. So just, just ask for an emoji and it will type it. This is a test note heart emoji. You can see how easy that is. It will actually enter any emoji you ask for. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead, leave a like if you did. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you on the next one.